Chris Crispy. Chris Crispy. Chris Crispy. Chris Christie running for president again, folks. All he did was cuck to Trump while Trump was in office. Dude, literally, after Trump humiliated him over and over and over again, still went and did debate prep for Trump, got COVID as a man with incredibly morbid obesity, stood there with plague rat Trump trying to drill him on debate questions, got COVID, could have fucking died, still licked his booty. Still sucked his nuts, but now he's uh, trying to break bad, I guess. Pretend like uh, he's against Trump now. Crispy's out there talking about how he regrets not confronting Trump more when Trump was in the White House. Why are you pretending now like you're going to stand up against him? It was a mistake in 2016 yeah, no shit. not to confront Donald Trump early. Uh-huh. Because I knew that so much of what he said was complete baloney. Why didn't you call it out like then? Like I knew it. Then call I'm going to build the greatest, most wonderful wall across the entire Mexico border. Then why do you fucking call it out? God damn it, you dirtbag. And here's the shitty part. If Trump gets the nomination again, he'll be right back on fucking Trump's nuts. He'll be drilling him on debate questions again. No lessons learned, no change. They never fucking do. Border And Mexico is going to pay for it. Well, like, I knew, as someone who had governed, that that was complete bull. Okay, so you don't have any morals? You don't have any integrity? You don't stand for fucking anything? You just stay quiet even though you knew it wasn't true and you knew he was a fucking liar and you tried to help him become president anyway? Then why should we elect you president? This is not a good speech, man. You're just proving you don't have any integrity. But I was like, eh, people aren't going to believe that. (laughs) They're not going to believe that. Mistake. It was a mistake. No, he didn't believe that. He didn't give a shit. He's a Republican, and that was his guy, and it's going to be his guy again. Going to stand behind it no matter what. And then it was revealed, apparently, uh, when he goes out to dinner with Trump, Trump forces him to eat meatloaf, emasculates him. It's like, no, no, I'm ordering for you. You're my bitch, Chris Christie. You got to eat meatloaf. God damn it. Cuck, cuck, cuck. And where you look is a cuck. And then, of course, immediately, his uh, good friend Donald Trump humiliated him soon as Christie got up there in his town hall, talked his bullshit. Trump put this video out, always classy, making fun of Christie's weight. And it was about our country and its future. And I wondered what our choice was going to be. Were we going to be small or were we going to be big? You're going to be big, clearly, at least according to Trump. And you get what you fucking deserve, Christy. True.